Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and today's video is going to be an unboxing of some vintage dolls. I almost never do doll content from before the 2000s or early 90s, but these are actually from the late 80s, so a decade older than what I normally do with vintage, and I'm so excited about these. These are a doll line that I mention all the time in videos, so I'm really excited to finally have them in my hands. My friend Ray, or Doll Mod Maven, actually noticed that I didn't have any, but I'm always mentioning them, so she sent me a link to some on eBay, and I've been looking for years for these, and I'd basically given up, so I can't believe that I managed to get them for this price, and it's just all thanks to Ray, so I'm so excited. So let's see what we got. Here they are. These are called Shimmers dolls. They're actually bigger than I thought they were, and I've never held one in my hands before. Oh, this is so cool. So these are kind of just fantasy creature dolls, monster dolls, and they're from the late 80s, so I just think they're so interesting. They're made by a company called Kenner, which is now defunct. They were bought by Hasbro, and I feel like they dissolved anything that Kenner used to do, unfortunately, even though Kenner had some of the like really, really cool toy lines back then. God, these are way bigger than I thought they were. I'm over the moon about that. Okay, so here is one of the fairy ones, and they have a little caterpillar torso, which is super interesting. I love that these dolls stand on their own really, really easily, too. So I'm going to get those set up later on. And then they all came with a matching baby or multiple matching babies. So this is the centaur one for this character. This is a fairy one for a different character. This is this one's baby. All right, let's get this one out. Okay, so I think this one is a double. Yeah, so I do have a couple of doubles in here and this is one of them. So this is another fairy. They have really nice hair. I think it's um, nylon, potentially. That's what it feels like to me. 80s hair is a bit hard to gauge sometimes. It's definitely not Saran or Kanekalon. So logically, I'm pretty sure it's nylon. It feels like My Little Pony hair from the 80s. Oh, this one, oh my gosh. So there's another centaur. The centaurs are the ones that I was the most interested in from this specific toy line. Like, I just think they're so interesting. And then we have some more of the babies. We've got two more, oh, well, this one's a butterfly. This one's a mermaid, but the mermaids I think also have wings. <laughs> and then mermaids. Okay, so in here, we have another butterfly, so, oh, interesting. Is this one supposed to have a widow's peak? I don't know. <laughs> so cool, though. And I'm going to show you guys all of these up close and talk about them a lot more once they're all out of this box. Okay, this one is one of the mermaids. See, for some, oh, no, this is actually a bird. I'm sorry. This is, like, a harpy. I think they're just called birds, though, because I think harpy is, like, sometimes people use that as a derogatory word for women, possibly. I don't know. Um, but this is the harpy one, which is such a cool design. I really like that they wanted it to look more fantasy than just being an angel. So they did this cool bird feather tail thing. And so yeah, so that's the harpy. I don't know if I actually got a mermaid, unless this one's a mermaid. Okay, I did. Oh my gosh, so cool, the tail. So they still wanted her to be able to stand up. So they did the tail like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's the mermaid. And then in here we have a bunch of accessories, which the reason I never buy these is because they're really expensive. And even if I were to buy like one centaur, which I would be happy to do, I'd be paying like 30 bucks and I wouldn't get any accessories and probably no babies either. So I don't know. And I like to buy things in lots because you generally get things cheaper. So here I have combs. So if I had to guess, these go to our harpy. But they're the wrong color for her, so they could go to a different one. These probably go to fairies. And then this. Maybe the centaur, because it's a flower. I don't know. So we definitely don't have all of our doll's combs, but honestly, I'm not a big, like, comb person. I don't care enough. Um, maybe a skirt for a centaur. I don't know. If you guys do recognize these pieces, I would be very interested in knowing. And then um, maybe a little shawl, like you put it around their arms. Not sure. Um, but there's one more thing in this box, which was the thing that ultimately tided me over to buy this lot because I was in shock that it was included because look at it. So if you collect things from the 80s, you'll know how impossible it is to get things like this because logically people don't keep cardboard things with their toys and especially not in the 80s. There would just not be a lot. Oh, look, it's her thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a little neck drape, and this is a little neck drape. So this goes to, I love this too, because I have all their names here. Um, so this is so exciting. So this is from the first series of Shimmers. I don't know if Shimmers went on for more than one or two series, unfortunately, even though they're so cool. So now I'm going to introduce you to all the characters. I actually seem to have variants of some sort, which I'm very surprised by. So let's 
take a look at all of them. So first we have, this is Skylight, and then their baby is Glider. Just so cute. Reminds me of like a human humanized glowworm. And look at the facial variant there. Maybe it's a country make thing? I don't know. It doesn't say. It's so cool though. So Skylight, I really love that they have this shimmery paint for all the different paint on their um, fantasy elements. It's so cool. And I just love this mermaidified design for a butterfly. Like I've never seen this before and it's so cute. So cute. So this one has a weird hairline and a completely different face than this one. I prefer this one, but this one's in better condition, so I need I need to fix both of them. And honestly, I'll keep both of them regardless. There's something on this one, a little gross. We'll clean it up. They've been around for a long time, so they're actually super clean compared to like a lot of things that I've gotten from the 80s or earlier. These are so cool. Oh my god. I'm so excited. And their baby is completely painted in that cool pearly paint. And it's very cute. I love all these 80s toy lines. Well, all of the characters, the only conclusion that you can draw is that they are all lesbians. Because they always have babies, but they never have men in their lives, which is cool. They reproduce asexually or just, it's, it's amazing. Okay. So this one is supposed to have a widow's peak, and um, I think this is Windbell. Ah, it's hard to say. I think this is Windbell. Um, so this is Windbell and Wispy here. I do have Wispy actually. This is Wispy, and oh my gosh, so cute. So this one. Oh wait. So this is pink. So I think this actually goes to her. And I was right on how they wear it. I was thinking because their arms are molded into the position that you would have to wear it like behind the head and I was right about that so let's see you put it on like this this is so cool I've never seen them for sale really for a reasonable price that I would even look at the listing for with the clothes so <gasps> that's so cool look at this this is so fun oh my gosh okay sorry I was not expecting that I saw the little accessories but I figured they went to something else so this is Windbell and her face is actually a different stamp than both of our varieties. Oh, her head is smaller. Look. But I definitely like this head. Better than this one. She's so cute. And I love the really sweet, simple faces that they have. And Wispy's a little dirty, but super cute too. I really like that the paints were all matched. And I can't get over how easily they stand on their own. This one I think is a little warped because she won't stand, but the other butterflies are standing. So I just need to figure out how to unwarp however many years that this doll has gotten warped, but so cute. I'm so excited that they stand on their own because mini doll stands are really, really hard to find. Oh, we actually got two of Wispy. Oh, and it's a variant again. Huh. Look at the face paint, and even the color of the paints is different. Barely, but it is. And a little dirty, but we can fix it. All right, so the next one is Plume and Feather Fluff. This is Feather Fluff. So this is a Harpy, and I really love this crazy green hair. It's so cute. The face is darling. The pose is super cool, too. I really like this pose. God, look at the sculpt quality on this. It's insane. And we do have some missing paint on this one. I feel like I didn't notice any missing paint on the other ones. Um, but this one looks like it's painted on top. And this one looks like the pink is the resin mix. As you can see, it's kind of see-through there. But on this one, it's not see-through like that. So I think that's what's going on here. The dress slash whatever you would call this is just glorious. Look at that. So cool. So cool. And I'm excited to sort out this hair because I've had really good luck with um, Barbies and My Little Ponies from the 80s in restoration, so I don't feel like this will be any different because this hair is already in really nice condition, actually. And then the baby here is Feather Fluff, and the baby looks less like the mom than the others. It's weird that she has a different hair color. Oh, wait, but this one has a blonde baby, actually. Never mind. They all... Oh, I didn't notice all the babies have different hair colors. Okay. This one just looks a bit more different, but super cute. I'm not as into the babies. For me, the, this marketing thing doesn't work. I really like the dolls themselves. Having the babies is cute, though. 
Um, and then this one is a mermaid, so I'm super excited about this one. And this one is um, potentially not on our list, so I need to look it up. This might be Marina, but she doesn't look like the picture, so hold on just a moment. All right, so I found a listing of this exact doll, new in box, labeled as Marina. So this is either some kind of variant of this character, or they just never produced that character in that form. Um, as you can see, the mermaid body is pink on this one, and on this one it's purple. And I don't have the baby for this one, so I can't show you a mermaid baby, unfortunately, but look how cool. I love this sculpted on bracelet that's actually painted on both sides. So cool. 1986 is the mold date. Love the shimmery. Also, I, I was calling this pertly the whole time, but it's probably meant to be called shimmery because they're called shimmers and they're from the shimmering forest. So that's actually really cute. I was wondering where the name for the line came from because online, I don't know, to me, it was not conveyed that they're this shimmery. So it's really cool that they are. God, I love these so much. And to me, these would have been perfect because when I was a kid, the, the main reason that I didn't like dolls very much, in addition to the fact that I just really liked fantasy play and most dolls didn't really cater to that, was that... These can stand. I didn't like that dolls couldn't stand on their own and doll stands weren't really much of a thing at the time. So this is like a godsend. This is so cool. And Marina is beautiful. And fun fact of the day, is it fun? I don't know. Marina is actually one of my favorite names ever. It was my Pokemon Sapphire um, trainer's name and it's stuck. I really like it. All right, so this is Clover and I don't have... Clover's baby, but this is what Clover's baby looks like. And Clover has actually changed from the prototype here too. The hair color has changed quite a bit. And I wonder if mine has a haircut, this other one, because she has a short tail, but her baby does too. And in the picture, it actually looks short. So that's really cool that there was that sort of variation. Um, but anyway, we're on Clover right now. So this is Clover. Clover is actually articulated. I didn't really pick up if the other ones were, no. So Clover's the only one, well, not Clover specifically, but the, the centaurs are the only one that have an articulated torso, which is actually quite cool. And check out the centaur body on these. I love the Clydesdale fluff with like, it's almost unicorn to me. Like the way unicorns are drawn in media with like the swirly fur here, or I guess it's hair on horses. I don't know. Um... <laughs> Horse terminology, I'm not going to know, and people are going to be like, um, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> anyway, I love the painted hooves and the shimmery horse body, and this one has a long tail, long purple tail, and this little streak here for where the part line would be, and such a darling little face. So it's weird that this one has such a different face. Like, this one's the one in the best condition out of all of these, I feel like, and... Her face is so different, so I'm wondering what that's all about. It's very interesting. So this is Clover, so cute. And they used to have little skirts, it looks like. And then the last one, which is probably one of my favorites actually, is Dearleen. And I do have Baby Doet with Dearleen. So she has these cute little like Sailor Moon bangs. I don't know what these are called, but like the curled bangs that are middle parted and off to the side. So, Hair is in a ponytail, which it also is in the picture. So I think this is probably the factory style, which is pretty cool. And look at the little bird on the hand. How cute is that? Let's put the camera at a better angle for... Yeah. Look at that. So cool. And I love this, like, gradient paint they were doing. And look. The copyright infringement. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> this one... Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, my God. This one's a deer centaur, so like a fawn? I feel like a fawn is minus the butt half, right? I don't know. Oh my god. This is a horse centaur. This is a deer one. This is completely different. <gasps> I didn't realize that. Look. There's two deer one and two centaur ones. Oh, that's so cool. I had no idea. Wow. Wow, I was wondering why this one had such a remarkably different body mold. I mean, look, so this isn't meant to be like My Little Pony then. This is meant to be like the little spots does have. And look at the tiny little pointed hooves. And they even have the little split. Or maybe that's just where the mold release was. Also articulated. So the, the fawns or deers or whatever, centaurs, I don't know. Um, and the centaurs have the same articulation. And that explains the tail 
being short. It's because it's a deer. And instead of molding the tail, they still gave us a little hair tail, which is actually pretty cool. And oh my gosh, that is so much fun. And then the baby is Doet, so Deerlene. And then this is Doet. It's pretty cute. I honestly really like that the babies have like different hair colors and sometimes different color schemes. Like that's actually really cool. Not completely different color schemes, but you know. I like the orange with this purple and green. I would never pick that color scheme in a million years, but I think it actually works quite well. And then we have these babies, which go to Sunstreak. So if I ever find Sunstreak... Oh, what? This outfit also goes to Sunstreak. Okay, so I'm missing Sunstreak, but I have Sunstreak's little outfit and two Sunstreak dolls. Or, sorry, this isn't Sunstreak. These are Wingsley. So I have two Wingsleys. <laughs> and Sunstreak's little outfit. So that's pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna set them up on these. I'm getting my money's worth with these acrylic risers that I bought. I am loving them so much. <laughs> I was saying in my last video that I made about uh, specifically about these, like I don't really like these that much. I don't think they're worth it. And now I'm like using them every single video. I'm having so much fun with them. All right, let's set up our shimmers because I will likely set them up something like this. Like I might buy another set of these risers just for them because I'm really enjoying how they look on it because they're shimmer oh what <gasps> the wings come off Ooh. well i guess i got lucky that she includes them i bet a lot of them don't have their wings anymore they're really cool wings um they would be really good for like a custom doll but you'd have to kill a shimmers to do it do you have the guts to kill a shimmers for your own sick purposes all right she's gonna fall very soon but <laughs> okay so cool this is the wrong baby. Ah! She's like, I was babysitting. I wasn't stealing the baby. Okay, so I got four characters with their babies. One with their outfit, but the outfits aren't really that big of a deal to me. It would be really cool to have all the outfits, but I'm not going to, like, split hairs trying to get all the outfits because these. this is an 80s toy line. Like, that would be a nightmare. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Let's push this closer and she can lean. Okay. I am in love. I can't believe that I got the back card specifically. Like, that's so exciting to me. It says Shimmers Collect, all these beautiful Shimmers figures. Weird that they're called figures instead of dolls. It says Hand Wash Accessories in Cold Water Line Dry. That's really cute that it told you how to wash them. I feel like dolls don't do that anymore. Um, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it says Kenner Product Toys. So that's why it said KPT. I was wondering about that. Um, 1986. And then the lead... And, Hasbro bought Kenner specifically to get the Star Wars license that Kenner had, I'm pretty sure. And then, like, basically just got rid of Kenner completely, which is really sad, because, again, Kenner had a bunch of really, really cool lines. It says, The legend of the shimmering forest. In a secret land of fantasy live beautiful creatures, wild and free. Their delicate bodies glisten like pearl. A pearly was correct, then. They're vitreous, if you will. <laughs> part woodland animal, part beautiful girl. To most of us, they can barely be seen at dusk and at dawn and not in between. But to those lucky few who wish they could be, like a horse in a meadow or a mermaid at sea, the secret land is always in sight, and beautiful shimmers will always shine bright that's so cute so i actually can't tell what character this went to because i think it was on the blister so this doesn't say who i have which is kind of cool actually but i'll never know which is also kind of sad but how cool is this it's like imperfect oh my gosh i just killed her um it has a small crease here but other than that it's like perfect so that'll be really cool to display with my shimmers and yeah, I have no idea why these didn't last very long. I know the 80s was a very tumultuous time for toy lines. They were just constantly pumping out new stuff and trying to see what would stick, kind of like the early 2010s were. Um, and I love it. I love it so much. These are going to be some of my favorite things in my collection. I'm so excited to finally have them after all these years, and I cannot wait to set up a cool display for them. I can't decide if they go better with my My Little Ponies or with my dolls. Because they have more of the look of the My Little Ponies, like the 80s look, and I don't collect a whole lot of 80s dolls in general. Um, but these, I love. They're definitely going to be displayed with shimmers. I have two shimmers, and I, or not, oh my gosh, these are shimmers, Brooke. Seaweeds. I have two seaweeds, and I love seaweeds too. And are those also Kenner? Are those the same? I feel like those were more successful than these, unfortunately. But these are just so cool so cool and if you guys didn't know about these i hope that you enjoyed this video anyway i think these are so exceptional and interesting and i love mass market media related toys specifically and the 80s was just rife with those so i always love looking into that kind of stuff and my dad used to run a very 80s and 90s central centered toy store in houston and 
Um, so this kind of stuff is just so exciting to me. And we always had a pact that if any shimmers came through the door, they were mine. And they never did. They never came through that door. But I finally have them. And it seems like from Ghost of the Doll, I'll link in the description so that you can find more information about those. It's one of my favorite websites ever. Um, it's about vintage dolls and toys specifically. They seem to only really list these so I guess Shimmers ended after one series. So I'm basically complete here. I'm missing um, the this Harpy, this Centaur, and this Fawn. And I believe that's it. Oh, and the other Mermaid. There's two Mermaids, so I'm missing this one. So I'm missing four. So out of 10, I have six. So I'm 60% complete already. Um, well, if I'm looking for clothes, it'll be a lot harder. But I'm not really concerned about that. If I find them, that'd be nice, but it's not a big deal. Anyway, that's it for this video. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know these are like a really interesting, different doll line, and I know they're going to be kind of polarizing. Sometimes people hate doll lines like this. Cave Club to me is a doll line like this, and they were quite polarizing, but I just think these are so cool, and I wish they could have gone on a little longer. There's some other doll lines from this era of toys that I'm very interested in and I mention every single time that I mention Monster High. Well not every time with some of them but there's there's like there's several and I just love them and I want to give them their flowers because to me as original of an idea as Monster High truly was there were pioneers who tried similar before and didn't quite hit on the market. These are hyper feminine which I love um, but you know, there were a lot of hyper-feminine things on the market at the time, and I wonder why they were marketed as figures. I'm very surprised. Um, I don't know, because the She-Ra dolls were quite successful, so it's not like being a mini doll was not a good idea. I don't know. The way this Widow Peak, Widow's Peak done is, the, the way that Widow's Peak is done is kind of hilarious. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go for real this time. Thanks so much for watching.